Hey everyone! In this video today, I want to show you guys how to make a very simple and cute and fun sort of variation on a regular candy stripe, but with pansexual colors. It's a bit of a different take on your typical candy stripe with these fun dots and random stripes in there. So if you want to learn how to make this super simple bracelet, then keep on watching. So for this bracelet, you will obviously need your pansexual colors. If you want, you could also do bisexual colors, or if you don't even want to make a themed bracelet, use whatever colors you want. And for this tutorial, I'm going to go with white instead of black like I have here. I thought the black would be a nice contrast on these colors, but I think it's just a little too stark. So we're gonna try out white and see how that looks. Now, as far as measurements go, for your white, you will need four strands, and then your yellow will only need one strand along with your blue, and then your pink strand will have two. Now, you can change this color order up if you want to, so that maybe instead of having yellow dots, they'll be pink, or you can have like pink lines, however you want to order that, but for this tutorial, we're going to have two pink strands. And as far as measuring goes, you will be using a lot less of your yellow and blue. So if you want to cut your stripey strings a lot longer, that may be beneficial because you will be using different lengths really for each color. But to keep it safe, I cut like 32 inches and even that is going to be kind of too long for a candy stripe, but it'll give you plenty of assurance that you will be able to make super long ties on both ends and it just gives you that peace of mind. Now, just like this bracelet, I am really quickly going to show you a diagonal shape start. It just makes it a lot easier to have the strings going in this diagonal already, but this is completely optional. If you don't wanna have a shape start, just make sure that when we start this candy stripe, you make these sort of diagonal knots instead of doing it straight across because that'll just form up the shape a lot quicker and easier than if you just start out and they start going straight across. I think most people understand how candy stripes work, <laughs> but that is just an optional thing that you can do. So regardless of whether you have a shape start or not, you want to order your strings from left to right, white, pink, white, yellow, white, pink, white, blue. And starting off the bracelet, very easy. We are going to do three rows of candy stripes. So with our outermost left strand here, we are going to do forward knots across all of the strings to the right of it to bring it to the right side. And again, come back to your outermost left strand, which will now be our pink one. And again, we are going to do forward knots across all of the strings to the right of it to bring it to the right side. And one more time, come back to your outermost left strand here and do forward knots across all of the strings to the right of it to bring it over to the right side.
And now we are going to do our sort of dotted row. So we are still carrying this string across the bracelet, but we're just doing a few different steps to make the row a bit more unique. So we are actually going to come to our first white strand from the left here, so the one right next to the yellow, and we are going to do a backward knot on the yellow strand. And then we're gonna take our yellow strand and do a forward knot onto the strand to the right of it. And then we'll pick up the next white strand in line and do a backward knot onto the yellow strand. Now we come up to our blue strand, so we are going to do a forward knot with our yellow strand. Next white strand, do a backward knot onto the yellow strand. Then we will do a forward knot onto the pink strand. And then we'll finish off with a backward knot onto the yellow strand with our white strand. So with our yellow strand, we were doing forward knots on top of every color. And then when we came to the white, that is where we sort of switched and did the backward knots. And now we are going to come back to a couple rows of our stripes again. So you probably know the drill at this point. Come back to your outermost left strand, do forward knots across all of the strands to the right of it. And then one more time, come back to your outermost left strand and do forward knots across all of the strings to the right of it. And then one more time, we are going to do a full candy stripe. So back to the outermost left strand, forward knots across all the strings to the right of it. And now for our very last row in the pattern, we are going to work on our sort of blue stripes. So first off, we wanna take our white strand that is to the right of our blue strand and do a backward knot onto the blue strand. And then with our blue strand, we are going to make three forward knots across the next three strands to the right of it. And then we'll take this next white strand in line here and we will do a backward knot onto the blue strand. And then take your blue strand again and do forward knots onto the next two strings to the right of it. And that is the whole pattern completed. 
lot of candy stripe work involved, but there is that fun added little spottiness in there to sort of break up the monotony of the candy stripe just a little bit. So I will have a chapter timestamped for you, but if you want to follow the video along again and just keep following it until you get the hang of the pattern, you can go to this timestamp right here and it'll bring you right back to the beginning of the pattern where you just follow the exact same steps over and over until you have your bracelet completely worked up. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I really hope you enjoyed it and be sure to check out the rest of my pride bracelets. Again, thank you all so much and I will see you in the next one.